2 News, keeping watch as police continue working Tulsa's serial attacker case. Police believe one man is responsible for eight attacks on women dating back to June 5th. We've mapped them out on KGRH.com and our mobile app so that you can see those locations at any time. An OSBI composite sketch artist drew up this approximation last week. It's based on one victim's memory, but there are some variables. 2 News anchor Max Resnick keeping up with police movements all day long. He's live tonight from TPD's mobile command post. Max? Well, looking at the sketch we continue to show you, it's the features. Police say that they want you to remember. Now, there are some discrepancies in the descriptions from victims over the past few weeks. He's been described as a white man, a light-skinned black man, and a Hispanic man. Police reiterate that they want the sketch out there, but say that this is a rendition and not a portrait of a man. Police say they are collecting and testing evidence, but won't specifically say what that evidence is and whether they have DNA evidence. If you are victimized, police hope that you have the presence of mind to preserve any possible evidence. That way we know if they use the doorknob that there's possibly prints on the doorknob or if he, you know, put his palm up against the wall somewhere in your home or outside your home or your car, then we know that there's possibly a print there that we could take that from. Now we also learned today that it's not just the Tulsa Police Department out here working this string of crimes. There are other agencies aiding in that, though they wouldn't say which. Live in Midtown tonight, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.